so i am going to say about um, now uh, applying uh, in uh, abroad universities how they, so first we before we apply for abroad universities that is usa i have taken up today uh, we must know uh, the universities like we have in india so in usa we have got public and uh, private sector okay so under public uh, we have got um, uh, university of uh, mckinnon uh, virginia california ucla uh, that is in los angeles then um, us military academy california berkeley and uh, these are the public uh, universities and the private ones are um, um institute of technology stanford yale harvard harvard princeton uh pens peninsula area and um these are all private okay so public is uh, public universities are uh, under government and uh, state government um, partially by state government and by government okay but public universities come into under the government directly okay and then uh, when we see this there are some colleges which are under ranking uh, that is um, uh, ivy y uh, this there are eight colleges under ivy y and the all the eight colleges are under the top 15 ranking colleges so the colleges are uh, eight universities of um, Uh, which are uh, on the top ranking are uh, Harvard, Columbia, Princeton, Cornell, A Peninsula 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 then Dartmouth, Brown. So these are all uh, top ranking colleges in USA. So this few I am just giving you few glimpses of USA universities, and um, when we take up like this, uh, there are. Um, Uh, like um, community uh, based university which is for uh, two years um, it is associated with arts and science okay and when we take up uh, the universities uh, as in india we have first year second year third year uh, in usa it's uh, first year students are called as freshers and second year are called as sophomores uh, third year are called as juniors and fourth year students are called as seniors so these are uh, compared to our india what is what uh, what are the uh, names being called for first year students and uh, last year students so first year students are called as freshers second year students are called as sophomores third year students are called as um, juniors and fourth year college students are called as seniors so there are even scholarships okay and um, when we take up um, scholarships uh, there is a uh, merit uh, based scholarship which is for throughout the year for 9th and 10th 10th uh, or 12th maybe uh, okay so those students uh, throughout the lifetime uh, if they are performing well they will get the scholarship merit scholarship and college based grants are there is institute based based scholarship there is need based scholarship there is even academic based scholarship okay they are all like uh, uh, they say it as grant and uh, when we take up expenditure the cost uh, it is uh, the cost over there is 6500 us dollars and then uh, for graduates you multiply with 4 and then for undergraduates again multiply with 4 and it's really costly Uh, to um, pursue your graduation and uh, post graduation uh, at us is really costly okay so you will have to explore a lot there are sponsorship available for indian uh, uh, indians as well as international uh, for uh, students so you need to explore a lot and there are there is a strategy how to get into you know, uh, cost uh, like fair cost oriented uh, the, uh, the first strategy is choose a uh, university which is in a rural rural area which is in midwest uh, so uh, so 
try for universities which is placed in uh, these areas okay rural areas and uh, um, try uh, for public universities mainly uh, you can apply for public universities you will have to explore a lot uh, about funding and all that and after that see once you apply for it and later you cry for funding uh, that will be a, a real problem so first you explore about all funding strategies uh, first thing is you will have to choose public and then second you should see that uh, it's in a rural area uh, south uh, south or uh, midwest or uh, wherever uh, low cost of uh, living is there and then um, you must see for uh, as per your need you should apply as per your need and then you should see that you are in that university as a top student uh, so only then you should apply for uh, abroad that is us based uh, education so this was about um, your um, even cost about the cost which is going to be expenditure you are going to take up when if you are going to study in us and about semesters there are two semesters uh, one for one is called as uh, intakes and orientations it is like uh, you have a fall semester you have a spring semester and you have a summer semester fall semester is uh, uh, during september and october okay all the you can apply for all programs all the um, like whatever you can you want to pursue you can apply uh, during this september and october it, that is that comes under fall and then second one spring is um, it falls uh, during jan january and february it's during the mid year and uh, here um, it's only few courses are available and summer uh, is also there but it's not for the international students so this is what i wanted to say about us so next i'll be saying about uk and then i'll tell about india india actually we all know it so this is today's career guidance thank you